Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Tech Conversations. Firstly, if you haven't already, make sure to check out Moomoo. Right now you could earn up to 15 free stocks by using my link in the description below. You could also earn an 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash right now. Remember, terms and conditions do apply. So go ahead and check out Moomoo. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Also make sure to check out the Discord. 100% free to join. So I'll also put a link to that in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. Now let's get right into today's video. So today I want to talk about buying 100 shares of a stock for one fourth the price. And I will be using ticker symbol SQ for today's demo. Remember everything I'm showing you here today is just an example. So let's first take a look at what buying 100 shares of this stock block, ticker symbol SQ, what that would look like right now. And I'm going to use option strat to take a look at that. So I'll put a link to option strat in the description below. Really great options visualization tool. You can also use it for shares of a stock, but it's a really great tool to visualize any trade you want to potentially look at entering. And so here, as you can see, we're on option strat, we're on SQ. So right now I have selected long 100 shares at the current price of 67.46. And the chart here shows what my profit or loss would be going out all the way to January of 2025. So let's take a look here. So if I bought 100 shares of SQ right now, right, I would pay $6,746, which would also be my max loss. My max profit would be infinite to the upside. My chance of profit, if you have the premium version of option strat, according to them, 50%. And then my break even, of course, would be the price I paid for the 100 shares, which is 67.46. And again, we have this nice chart here where we can potentially see what our profit or losses would be depending on the share price, depending on the date here. So this is what it would look like if I purchased 100 shares of SQ right now. Now, what if I told you there is a way to set up something very similar, but that requires as little as 25%, maybe even less, of the capital needed to buy 100 shares of the stock? And so we can do this by using an option strategy known as the Zebra. And Zebra stands for Zero Extrinsic Back Ratio. So we're going to use options for this. So let's go into the options here for SQ. Now, of course, you will need level three options to be able to use this strategy. Also, remember, before you ever enter any options trade, please make sure you know how to close it. Now... When it comes to this zebra option strategy, strategy, we do two things here. We want to buy 270 delta in the money options, in the money calls to be specific, and then we want to sell 150 delta at the money call option here. So let's go out to January here, right? January of 2025. Of course, the expiration date depends on kind of what your goals and objectives are, but that's what I'm going to be using for this demo here. So again, the first thing we want to do here is we want to buy 270 delta in the money call options. So remember, delta is one of the Greeks when it comes to options. So you can see it here under this Greek section, delta. So we're going to look for an option that has a delta of 70. So for this particular example, the closest one we're going to find is the one at the $60 strike. So the delta here is 0 0.7330, right? So it's going to be as close to 70 as we can find. You're not always going to find exactly 70, but it should be pretty close to 70. So you want to go ahead and buy two of these. So I'm going to go ahead and add this here, and I'll show you how to modify the number of contracts you want here in a second. But we found our 70 delta in the money call option. Now we want to sell 150 delta 
at the money call option here. So we're gonna switch over to sell. So now we wanna find a call option whose delta is 50. And it should be pretty close to the at the money call option. And so for this particular example, the closest one with a delta of 50 is gonna be the one with the $70 strike. So you can see this has a delta of 0.51. So again, very close to 0 0.50. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one here. Now again, we wanna make sure that we're buying two of the 70 delta in the money options. So here for the call who has the 70 delta, you wanna make sure we're buying two, so I'm gonna modify that and select two here. So this would be the zebra option strategy here. So now let's go over to option strat. Let's set this up and let's compare it to purchasing 100 shares of the stock. So let's go to a new tab here in option strat. Let's go to build and let's go to call here. So again, the stock for today's example was SQ and we went out to January of 2025 for today's example. So again, what did we do? We started by buying 270 delta in the money options we found out that the closest to that was the $60 strike call option. And again, we want to do two here. And then we also sold 150 delta at the money option. So let's add a sell call here. Here we have our zebra option strategy. So now let's take a look at this here. So for this strategy, we need around $1,740. That would also be our max loss. So if you do the math, right, you compare this to buying 100 shares of the stock so far, we would need only 25% of the capital needed to purchase 100 shares of the stock. Now, our max profit is still infinite to the upside. Our chance of profit with the zebra option strategy, so here it says 47%, almost the same here. And then our break even again for buying 100 shares is this. For the zebra strategy, it's this. So let's take a look here at the actual chart. So let's say, you know, SQ goes up to $75 a share on January 17, 2025. According to option strat with the zebra strategy, we'd make $760. How much do you think we're gonna make with 100 shares of the stock? Let's take a look here. So let's see where we would be at, at $75 a share on January 17. With 100 shares of the stock, $754. So notice you would make almost the exact amount from a dollar perspective when you buy 100 shares of the stock versus when you use the Zebra option strategy. It's almost the exact same amount. However, because the Zebra option strategy requires less capital, from a percentage standpoint, it would be a lot higher. Right here, we have a 44% return on investment. Buying 100 shares, we would only have an 11% percent return on investment. So as you can see, the zebra option strategy is almost identical to buying 100 shares of the stock in a lot of different ways here. However, right, we do need to be aware of some disadvantages when it comes to the zebra option strategy versus buying 100 shares of the stock. One of those being that, of course, we're using options here. When it comes to trading options, options do have an expiration date. They do expire, right? So for example, if you're in the red with the zebra option strategy and your options expire, right? That money is gone. When it comes to shares of a stock, you can hold them for as long as you want to. They're not gonna expire and disappear like options will. So there's definitely one thing there to keep in mind when you're comparing these two different strategies here. But again, if you're somebody who doesn't have as much capital, you wanna potentially do something similar to buying 100 shares of a stock, 
you know, the zebra option strategy could be that stock replacement strategy. So anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord, a link to that in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.